and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the Super Bowl Pass Promo Part 2. So, we have, well, as a whole, we have Super Bowl Promo, as you guys know. That was the beginning of it with Pass. But we got the Pass Part 2. So, as you guys know, with the first part of the promo, we did get the Steve Young Master set with the Sonny Michelle, Adam Timberman, and Clay Matthews. That was Part 1 of the Pass. Now, they just say this promo is going to be in three parts. So, I think, like, like I said yesterday, if you guys watched my predictions video, I did kind of predict that... There would only be one present set and there would probably be one or two of the past because past you know there's just years worth of super bowls so it would make sense that they could do more than one set of the past and that's exactly what they're doing guys so super bowl pass part two coming out today and just now actually i should say i don't even shouldn't say today it's now hopefully you guys are super excited for this i'm definitely excited to have some content i mean so far so good right we got the past set one we got mel renfer yesterday and now we got another part of the promo. Pretty solid so far. Now, I don't know if this counts as the part two. Like they said, this promo will be three parts. I don't know if this is just a part two of the past part or if it's part two of the whole promo. You get what I'm saying? Because it could realistically be the past is just the first part, present second, and there's a third, or the past part one and two is the one and two parts that we're talking about. I kind of hinted at my video that that could potentially be one of the things that comes from this. I'm super excited though, to go over all this stuff. Definitely super hype. As always, guys, with the new set, there's going to be some a fun video for us to make tomorrow. I'm going to go over all the mathematics of it and then go through all the cards, obviously. Hopefully, these cards are a little bit better because the first set that we had, I wasn't a fan of most of the cards besides Steve Young and Adam Thimmerman. I keep saying Thimmerman. I mean Timmerman. Whatever. You guys get the point. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Come turn on the noti bell. Come join the family. Let's get to 20K as quickly as possible. Comment down below if you guys like the part one or part two better once we see all the players and everything. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 400 likes on 1030 video, guys? Noti gang, go crazy with it. We got some pretty quick content out for you guys, so make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Helps out the channel tremendously. It means a lot more than you guys know. Let's get into this video. We're heading over to challenges. They did release the solos, as you guys can see. Now, they did release quite a few. They We now have, we have the history of Super Bowl that's been there. We got the what if and the greatest comebacks ever. So, there's no individual rewards for these, but as per usual, it does add to the star count. So, there's 40 stars for this one, and then there is no servers. That's interesting. Okay, that's definitely fun. Let's go back into Ultimate Team. Alright, so I'm not going to click on that again because I don't feel like getting uh, getting clapped and sent back out of Super, uh, Super Bowl stuff. But you get the point. There's 40 here. There is, let's see how many were in the first one. There were 76, so that's like 116. I imagine there's 40 in there. I'm not going to click that again. So let's say we're about, about probably around like 150, 160. So you can get up to about close to, I'd say as of now, you can get about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Probably 5 tickets at minimum and then 6 at maximum. So you can get about 6 tickets, which means you do get your free 95 overall player as of today you could have probably had it already if you did play your uh house rules already but that's up to you i don't know if you guys have been playing that now let's go check out these sets and everything see what else is out in this game i feel like i should probably back out but i'm gonna go with it oh single card i got my twitch drop pack all right let's open this up real quick and see what we can get out of this you never know maybe we pull out uh eli manning no yeah i never expect to but i think it'd be pretty awesome if we did so let's head over to sets and go check out the brand new sets in the game we do have a new master we're gonna have a bunch of new stuff so hopefully it's super cool all right i went back real quick these solos are working they're 40 also so yeah i was there. you get about five tickets total and i see those madden challenge uh those madden challenge solos right there as you guys can see now, i don't know if that's new it's of course gonna be slow now i don't know if those are new but madden challenges did just show up i'm pretty sure all the way at the top here it gets you a free twitch legend fantasy pack I'm not entirely sure what you get from that but it says these do uh, these do expire in about a month so i recommend you guys get these done get your free player it takes about 40 stars shouldn't take you too long uh just play them all get those done easy free player right there now as we head on down let's go check out the sets now i wonder if they have any new objectives uh no it does not look like it so let's go check out the sets see what is in the game as of now super bowl let's head on over and see all right so the set is out it is super bowl pass master gene upshaw this is super awesome guys this is a brand new left guard probably the best left guard in madden he's usually pretty athletic as well kind of excited for this see what the cards are the set piece are brandon graham big ben roethlisberger and malcolm butler now these cards excite me a lot more than the other ones did because as long as the stats are okay because malcolm butler's gonna probably be solid graham's gonna be solid only issue here was is ben roethlisberger because he's a quarterback and typically there's probably a lot of better options quarterback's on a position would be locked in at but you can probably quick sell them and do my method that i usually tell you guys about 
Exchange pass here is Brandon Graham, Ben Roethlisberger, and Malcolm Butler for 96 overall Super Bowl master pass. Gene Upshaw, his power up, and his acquired players is not. So luckily, they did not change the set at all, so it still does apply in a very similar way. So I'm super excited about that. So let's first check out the stats of these individual cards. Hopefully, they're up by now. So Brandon Graham, 269. These cards shouldn't be too expensive. Probably similar to the other cards, more than likely. So Brandon Graham, got 79 speed. 86 Excel, that's decent. 87 Strength, decent. 94 Tackles, amazing. 94 Play Rec, great. 89 Blocks, is decent. 96 Power Move and 89 Finesse Move. Now, he can be powered up, guys. So that means if you do power him up and you make this guy up, you can make him probably a beast. You can get him up to about... Probably above a 90 block shed, a 99 power move, as well as above 90 finesse move, close to like 96 play rec, probably 96 tackle, above 80 speed. This guy's pretty solid, not gonna lie, at right end. Let's compare him to my Aaron Donald, or my Aaron Donald's obviously a bit behind. Okay, so compared to my Aaron Donald, he is gonna be better than my Aaron Donald, but not by a lot. It's very similar, so I'd imagine the team of the Aaron Donald definitely blows this Brandon Graham out of the water. But if you can't afford the new Aaron Donald, because he is twice the price just about, you can't always pick up this Brandon Graham. Or if you do the set, you can get him for literally so cheap. It's probably worth it. Definitely a solid card. And Eagle Steam team is definitely going to be loving that. Let's go check out Big Ben Roethlisberger. Goes a uh, Super Bowl pass Ben Roethlisberger. So let's compare him and check out his stats. So he got 74. Let's see. 74 total speed. 94 throw power. So speed's ass, but he's Ben Roethlisberger. He's not known to be a, you know, a super fast runner. He's a runner, but not a fast runner. Just a big physical guy. 94 throw power, solid. 93 throw short, solid. 93 throw mid, solid. 92 throw deep, solid. 87 throw on the pressure, a little bit low. 91 throw on the run's pretty good, actually. 87 play action. So, he can be powered up and chemmed up. He can get his throw power to probably 99 powered up, just about, with John Madden passing as well as go deep. You can get his... Okay, so all of his, his passing is really good. He's a well-rounded passer. Going to be great on a Steelers team team, but if you're on a Steelers team team, you probably want Michael Vick. So... I don't think he's a recommended option at all. I don't think he's a quarterback on a regular team. I don't think he's a quarterback on a theme team because you can get Vic as a quarterback on a theme team. So as a whole, good card. Nothing special. If you're going to do the method that I was telling you guys about, I'd recommend you probably sell Ben Roethlisberger. Probably your best bet in terms of making sure that you're able to, you know, get your bang for your buck. At least, that, you know, because I don't think he's worth it. I think he's going to be a waste on your team as far as, especially if he's not. You know, if you get him, you can sell him. But as far as that card, I don't think it's worth it. Now, Malcolm Butler's the next card, 95 overall cornerback for the New England Patriots. He was the Super Bowl winner when he picked off Russell Wilson on the two-yard line when they should have ran it with Lynch. If you guys remember that Super Bowl versus the Seattle Seahawks. See, let's check out his stats. So actually, let's no, let's back out of that. Let's let's individually look at him. Give him his give him his due. 92 speed, 91 excel. Decent athleticism, although at this point in the year, like I had Night Train Lane with similar speed. I feel like at this point, they should be dropping like 94 plus speeds. 94 agility, 85 jumping, 93 play rec, 95 man, 92 zone, 94 press. So he's a very physical corner, very well rounded. I'll have to give you that. Like he's very well rounded. Let's check out his intangibles real quick. Let's see his, um, let's see his hip power, some of his physicality. Block shedding is not great. No, it comes down to his hip powers. His hip power good. Not, 74 hip power is actually pretty good for a cornerback, not gonna lie. Let me go back to his catching. I missed that, actually. Go back. 74 catch. So he's, a, he's just well-rounded. He's the jack of all trades at cornerback. You compare it to my Night Train Lane, he's probably going to be a very similar build to Night Train Lane in a sense that like he's kind of like that physical corner. He doesn't have the hit power, though, right? Same speed. Yep. Same excel. Just about similar agility. Way worse jumping. Similar play rec. Way better man. Similar zone. Better press. Similar cards, but I'd rather have my Night Train Lane because Night Train Lane can be powered up, which means you can get abilities and everything and shaker. He's way better hip power, way better jumping, better zone, taller. Malcolm Butler's decent. So far, honestly, Super Bowl pass, the pieces have not been great. Brandon Graham's okay. Like, none of these cards can make your team as the best card at their position. They can make your team, but I don't think they're the best cards at their position. Now, Gene Upshaw could be good. Steve Young was solid. So far, the Masters have been really good. So let's go check out the new Gene Upshaw Master. That could really be a big part of whether or not this is all worth it or not. Let's go check him out. Let's go over to Gene Upshaw. All right, 96. He's 96, so he's left guard. He probably will show up right here, actually. So let's scroll on down. Maybe towards the end. Yeah, right there. Okay, perfect. Gene Upshaw, left guard, 96 overall for the Oakland Raiders. 92 strength is decent. 93 awareness is decent. 92 pass block, 93 pass block power, 91 pass block finesse. So that's solid. That's, that's average. That's solid right about now. But 95 run block, 95 run block power, 95 run block finesse. He is across the board one of the best run blockers in Madden. Now you can power him up and chem up, I believe. Yes, you can. So that means you can get him to probably close to 99 run block. You put zone run max out on him. You have John Madden rushing on him and you power him up. You could probably get him to close to 99 run block. Gonna be one of the best run blocking left guards in the game. Compared to my old Bruce Matthews, which is, I really got to upgrade. Definitely a 100% upgrade over him. Now, what's cool about him, too, is that he does have decent speed. 73 speed, which is solid. 
at left guard, especially if he gets if he does get all goes on block and get to the, the next line. Next line defense which is linebackers. 84 acceleration is what I was talking about. Like he does have great excel. Now, how often do you use it? Depends on if you pull a lot or if you do traps or depending on your run scheme, right? That really depends on how much you use your athleticism. But guys, that pretty much wraps up Super Bowl Pass Part 2. Uh, overall opinion, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I think the pieces were decent. Graham's good. Butler's good. I just don't think they're upgrades over some other players. And then Ben Roethlisberger's good. They're all good, right? They're all good. I just don't think they're upgrades over other players we can get. Brandon Graham is half the price of Donald, though, so he's not exactly a horrible option. And it's going to be pretty cheap, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure to get turn on the noti bell as well. Let's get to 20K as quickly as possible. We're, we're getting there, boys. Let's get this video to 500 likes for a 1030 video. That'd be awesome. Noti gang, gotta go strong. And comment down below what you guys think of the Super Bowl Pass Part 2 and who you plan to be picking up. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.